if business is going to be long-term sustainable, it has to be making a net positive contribution to society. Freshfields is one of the world's leading global law firms. When looking at sustainability and the work we do in the environment, in pro bono, in community investment, we're thinking very hard about what the real need is and we're looking to find new and innovative ways of delivering a better result. I think it got to a point one day I was just sitting down and I said to myself, I said, what's the point of living? In the Sustainable Development Goals, one of the very important themes is dealing with human trafficking and modern slavery. So one of our key pieces of pro bono legal work is a project around helping the victims of human trafficking and modern slavery recover what is actually owed to them. I was brought into this country as a domestic servant. I do not have anybody as a family, no friend to start with, so I was just walking. Daily I was beaten, call, you know, call men, foolish, stupid, you're good for nothing. It was my kind of daily <laughs> things that were, was going on. And here I was, I have no one to turn to no one to speak to. How can I come out of this situation? Many people who have been victims of human trafficking and slavery have judgments in their favour. They've already been to an employment tribunal or a court and they've won a claim. They may have been able to obtain legal aid to do that. But at that stage, that victory isn't worth much or indeed isn't worth anything if they can't enforce it. I don't have money. Where will I have come money to sponsor this case? Nothing. They supported me all the way through and I ended up getting, you know, justice. I am grateful. There's some legal work that people just can't pay for. The people who need the legal advice can't afford to pay for it. If no one's going to do it on a pro bono basis, then it won't happen. Sometimes that's just a small number of individuals that suffer as a result, but sometimes actually it means that the whole legal system and, and society is impoverished because there's a, a piece of justice that just doesn't happen unless someone's going to do it. RIP is one of Freshfield's ways of tackling the challenge of climate change. We worked with our partners, natural capital partners based here in London, and TIST, a charity based in East Africa, to come up with a different way of engaging with this challenge. And so REAP is effectively a 10-year investment in growing 2 million trees, helping women uh, tackle gender equality, and supporting the local economies in which they live. The work is so important because our people are so poor. As TIST, we have our sustainable development goals. We are trying to make sure that our people get out of this poverty. And also, as they get out of poverty, they also do something to contribute to the environment. So uh, it's so, so important so that our people know the uses of planting trees in their own gardens and those trees can stay for a long time and at the same time they will be getting in income for their families. What REAP will bring you therefore is also economic benefits that are shared between the community. So people work together, they learn together. <laughs> imbibo kezihamba buryo mwarazo ku ashake yembibo ndije ashake yembibo utunge imiti iwe bere utaratunga konka hatitisiku yezire abantu bayiga kukorera mu groups bayiga no kuhinga ibyo kurya no kunika bayiga no kuhinga um kuhinga uko murembe tibashwa kuhinga nkuko akari nkuko abantu babahingaga kandi bayigira mu no ku 
abana babo kandi batunga mu decente izo kwera abana mu mashumba one of the things we really liked about REAP was how it created gender equality. The leadership of those groups of farmers rotates every six months between a man and woman. So women are, by default, given leadership responsibilities, managerial responsibilities on a rotating basis. And that is really changing the dynamic uh, of those relationships uh, in, in, that, in those parts of, of East Africa. The Stephen Lawrence Scholarship Scheme started in 2013. The idea behind that is to introduce black men into the world of law. There's an issue that many institutions and organisations find difficult. How can we be more representative of the people that we serve? The Freshfield Stephen Lawrence Scholarship Scheme is a bespoke development programme that tries to create access to opportunity for black men from less privileged backgrounds. We take an innovative approach in testing for talent and potential and in tailoring development programme activities to the students. Many a times young people feel as if um, like Fresh Falls is an organisation that they'll never think about. What Fresh Falls is trying to do is to give them the opportunity for them to think out of the box. It's trying to attract young thinkers who would normally see um, their race, their background, the fact that they're from a lower privileged background as an obstacle and transforming them into, instead of self-perceived weaknesses, into actually unique selling points that the individuals themselves can sort of um, leverage in order to stand out from other people in a competitive job market. We want to show leadership and create greater impact uh, through collaborating with higher education and other like-minded businesses. I wouldn't have the network that I have now, the mentors, uh, the experiences on my CV. To sum it up, it really has been life-changing to, to have gone through the scheme. Probably a bit more publicity that needs to happen around the sustainable goals. People talk about them, but not enough. So it needs organisations like Fresh Fools to always highlight it, to make sure inequality, if, if, if that's what we're talking about, what are you doing to achieve that? We're doing this very much because we feel that we have a part of a shared responsibility to support uh, the work that's being done around the SDGs. A lot of the people who are coming into uh, the legal profession, but the, the business community in general, young people, are wanting more from the companies they join. They want to work for organisations whose values are aligned with their own. We're a company that is serious about addressing some of the challenges the world is facing. In a law firm we can contribute in a number of ways. We can improve the way we do things ourselves by promoting integrity and ethics, by encouraging community investment and by doing pro bono work. But we're also the oil which keeps the world's economies going. The rule of law, clear ownership of assets, enabling other businesses to be successful are all part of the ways in which we contribute to the sustainability of the world.